Hello everybody. I saw a recent review on the risk of cancer in joint replacements the other day. Just to be absolutely clear from the start, there isn't a significantly increased risk of cancer if you've had a joint replacement. But keep watching and I'll tell you more about it. Joint replacements are made from metal alloys like cobalt chromium, stainless steel and titanium. The bearing surfaces, the bits that move against each other, are made from things like polyethylene, metal and ceramics. We use these materials because they're strong, durable and biocompatible. This means that they're generally safe to have in the body for decades at a time. About 20 years ago, there were some concerns raised about metal-on-metal -metal implants, which were more commonly used back then. We were worried about the effects of being exposed to raised levels of chromium and cobalt in the blood. Even though these materials have been used for decades, we started to see some problems in patients. It wasn't cancers that we were seeing, but local damage to the soft tissues and bones around the hip. We quickly realised that some devices were more of a problem than others. Many of them were withdrawn from the market. Women seemed to be more affected than men, so we became much more careful about selecting the right implant for a particular patient. Lab studies have shown that metals like cobalt and chromium can damage cells and the DNA that's inside them. That sounds worrying, but don't forget, what happens in the lab isn't always what happens in people. There are, of course, international organisations that constantly monitor the performance of medical devices like hip replacements. This recent review looked at over 700,000 people with hip and knee replacements. What did they find? Well, the good news is this. There was no consistent evidence of increased overall cancer risk. People with implants live just as long and in many cases longer than the general population. Implants like ceramic on plastic are now the standard and show no added cancer risk. Some studies did pick up a small increase in certain cancers, for example prostate and skin cancers like melanoma, and there were some blood cancers, but these increases were small and not statistically significant in any way. And because no clear cause has been found, we don't worry too much about them. In other words, if there's any risk, it's very small and it may not be due to the implant at all. As we get older, our risk of getting cancer increases because that's life. Bad habits like smoking and drinking too much alcohol are much more likely to give you cancer than a joint replacement. So stop doing them now. So what does this mean for you? Well, if you're about to have a joint replacement, there's no need to worry. The vast majority of implants used today are safe and well tested. Your surgeon will choose the best type based for you on your needs. If you already had a metal on metal implant like a hip resurfacing, you'll be having regular checks anyway. Even so, there's no strong evidence that having these types of hip replacements increases your cancer risk. So what can you do if you've got concerns? Well, first of all, ask your surgeon what materials are being used in your joint replacement. Go to your follow-up appointments. Report any unusual symptoms though most people never have issues. And of course, remember, the benefits of joint replacement, like getting rid of pain and getting back to normal mobility, far outweigh these theoretical risks for most people. So to sum up, there's no clear evidence that joint replacements cause cancer. Most modern implants are very safe. Some tiny risks may exist, but they're not a reason to avoid or delay having surgery if you need it. Thanks for watching. Please get in touch if there's anything else you want to know about hips and I'll see you all again next time.